It's January 29th, 2023, and with 487 days left to train to thru-hike the Appalachian Trail in 2024, I find myself on the Finger Lakes Trail in upstate New York. Today, I start at Ebenezer's Crossing near Watkins Glen, where you cross Glen Creek to get to a primitive campsite. I will do an out and back about 10 miles to include Sugar Hill Fire Tower today. Fairly quickly into the hike, I came across the Buck Settlement Cemetery. I mean no disrespect to those in one of the last remaining evidence of 1800s land occupants, but I found it really funny that Wrong Side of Heaven was playing in my headphones walking up to the stones. Ebenezer Buck, who the crossing is named for, was a farmer who moved to the area from Connecticut. He and his wife are buried here. Continuing on the path, I found a lean-to that could be home sweet home for a future night of camping and stargazing, and then I also found more evidence of occupancy of the past. In the 1850s, there was a grist mill that operated below the falls, so old building structures were not a surprise to see. The trail register is within a few more yards, and then away we go to see all the beautiful scenery. I'm heading upstream and then away from the creek. There will be a lot of wet snow and forest immersion today. Once in the depths of the forest and away from the noise, I feel a safety that only trees can offer. Have you ever felt that? Protection by way of armies of trees? Even though the snow is wet and heavy to wade through, the time goes quickly as elevation change stays within 1,000 feet. It's really good to be out keeping my legs strong. There's a variety in the changes in the landscape with different clusters of trees, bits of water, and the sun even makes an appearance on this winter day. I smiled as I got a salute from the person who was driving past me at a road crossing. I am grateful for winter hiking today. In the summertime, these pools of water and need for footbridges over muck and mud would mean hot, itchy mosquito bites galore. Almost five miles into the trip, I find the road that will take me to the fire tower. Sugar Hill Fire Tower is now a recreational camping, archery, and horse lovers destination. Some of the information I found says that the observation cabin is permanently closed, but I still climbed the 68 feet of stairs to get the pretty, albeit very chilly and windy views of Seneca Lake in the Watkins Glen and Dix, New York area. This is just one place that the locals would say is the reason we live and stay in upstate New York. We have many, many breathtaking places that are within short driving distance. All this beautiful scenery makes the long winters worth it, or... At least that's what I would say, speaking for myself here. On the way back along the same path, I found that the forest was less quiet and was visited by a friend who wasted no time making a mess and then moving on. I also went to the other side of what I learned is called Twin or Templar Falls for a better view. All in all, this was a good, easy-paced workout and warm-up for harder Adirondack visits in the days to come. Till next time, happy trails.